thing there, the belt's off. Yeah, right, so it's roughly pointing as we look at it from the camera angle. It's roughly pointing at 4 o'clock. Or maybe that's. It's maybe more like half 4. 5 o'clock. Could even be 4.29. Right. Uh, 24 Newton meters. I think we just take off this. Make it a bit easier. Yeah, really? Oh my god. Been horsed up. Something chronic that. That definitely 24 newton meters that. I need to double check the book to make sure that's what it is because that one there's been horsed up to hell. The covers in the way. Oh, everything's in the way. Obviously the most important thing next is making sure this key goes in where it should go in. Get the other hand in there, getting a bit of lactic acid build up in the arm. Here she comes. Right, that does sit down in there at about that angle, roughly. Does it feel alright? Yeah, it feels good. Replacement. You know what I haven't done yet? So I haven't dropped anything down the back of this engine yet. And if there's going to be anything that's down the bottom back of it, it's probably going to be the new stuff. I've no doubt. Uh, I think I'm going to have to try and get the. I'm going to have to try and get the thing out of the way that. That's going to catch on the on the back for it. Oh my god. Even yeah, I can feel the Feel the keyhole as it's about four o'clock, thereabouts. Still needs to be a little bit. Get in there. Obviously, the last thing you want to do is pull that bloody pin out. You need to be careful with that. Right, what direction are we here? Drop the ball. 
to be a clock, four o'clock, right, in the hole, so to speak, that's what she said. Let's get the start out a bit. There we go, here comes another sausage finger. Mm -hmm. right. So what I'm doing now is, I've got hold of the pin on my other tiny hand. Look at the hole, like right, that's there. It's just Ship. Right, I need better access for that. I do apologise, but it's going to be a long video just looking at a bloody engine. Listen to me, Gabalon. Have I said it yet? There's not a lot of space down in there. I don't know if I said that yet or not. Space down in there, it's just I could do with another hand in there just to help it along. Let's get that hand down in first. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Right, well, not time at the present time. Good, thank you. Uh, a new Land Rover Discovery 3 would go a treat. Pardon? A new Land Rover Discovery 3 would go a treat. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, only a new timer belt on it. Ah, here we go, this can make it a bit easier. Do it this way. Straight and it's just Room on that still. Just come up a bit more to go over the top there. We've got the fuel pressure regulator in there on the bike fuel reel. Ship for a minute. 
So, just after we abandoned ship, we decided to have another go at it, off camera. And that's what, uh, that's what happened. I don't know how the hell it came out, but it did. Problem now is getting it back in. So, hopefully that now will give us a bit more leeway. He says. There's a heat shield for the bulkhead in there, there is, and that's why well, that's a bit of a nightmare. I feel the exhaust pipe, the crossover pipe for the exhaust on the manifold on that side. It's got the heat uh, proof stuff on it. So, but that should give us more room now. Right. That needs to go in at that angle. And I've ripped my glove. Are sunk in this. I'm going to take this in for a minute. Okay. Yeah, right, it's going to be through the back cover. Make sure that is in there or not. So that's right cool. Yeah, right, so it's got to go through the back cover and then into the back of the head, obviously. Stephen, come on. Right, so that's where I was getting confuddled at. Come on, catch you bugger. Just catch. Right, that's the threads. Right, we're starting the thread there. And we is in. <laughs> this is so annoying because you're putting a lot of trust in your in what's going on in there. We're in the recess as well. That's it, I'm afraid. That is it. Right, tighten you up. Right, how am I going to achieve 23 newton meters in there? I don't know if it's the answer. There's no way that was tightened up to 24 newton meters. That was a lot more. I struggle with it, I'll get them off. in there. Pin's still in which is good. Now it's time for the timing bolt. Have a look at this bad boy. There's your numbers again. Made in 2019. No directional arrows on it. But what I am going to do is, because the front belt's on with the right and face in the front of the engine and that all turns the same way clockwise so I'm just going to put it on that way as I'm going so the fuel pump the belt is over the top of the fuel pump and then when it comes back round the bottom of the fuel pump it goes over the top of the tensioner 
so the tension is on the bottom of the side of the belt, if you understand me. Have I? fuel pump pulley, I thought I'd pulled the pin out of the, but it's the fuel pump pulley I'm on, not the tensioner, the tensioner pin's still there. <laughs> oh my god, my heart nearly so. Right, that is us on, on there, on that side. And then, try and get up the cam pulley side, probably be better starting on the cam pulley side. Because there's no lip on it, or there's a lip on it, that's probably a better idea. Guess I'm up there. That's going to be this hand. Which is that I can tell ya. And then you've got to have the confidence that you've got it on right. You only get one chance at it. I suppose it just ain't going to start. It's not as bad as the front one. But it's not timed in right. So on that other video that I've done, on the front cover, I do that without uh, using without putting the uh, locking tool in the flywheel because that, that there you've got to take the starter motor off that was done two days ago that video will be on the channel as I said at the start of this video uh, yeah I just mark up the bottom pulley on the cam belt on the cam belt pulley in the crankshaft and well if you watch the video you'll see what I do it's on there feel free to go to the channel and have a look not a lot of tolerance on this uh, thing here to get this just say uh, in the manual to actually put it on press the tensioner is in place so, you just need a little arm just to <laughs> get over that edge Abandoned ship again in a minute. Oh, no, no. Right, abandoned ship. Too much lactic acid. <sighs> okay. When I do this job again, yeah, it's about patience. Get frustrated with it, just walk away from it for five minutes. That's what I do. So another pop, the Johnny pop. Double make sure we're on this side first. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Right, we're on the camshaft side. 
over. Thumbs on. Just need to try and get on the fuel pump side. I don't know if it's easier trying to pull up one from the top. Start at the top maybe. Push it down the way. I mean, the main thing is to push the way that way so it doesn't make a better angle. Mm -hmm. I know one thing, there's not a lot of... There's not a lot of tolerances on that tensioner. I suppose I need to move the fuel pump as well to make sure I'm clicked into the teeth at the tightest part of it. I'll be here tomorrow. It's going to be easier starting at the bottom and coming up round to the top of the pulley. Need to get out of the way. Need to get out of the way. There we go, that's better now. There, she's on. Look at her. It's like a glove. Thank God. Right, let's double check things here. So, there is a lip on the camshaft pulley. I get my hand down round again. Make sure we're on the whole way round. Yep, he's on. It's not sitting over the lip, but I can feel anyway. It's over the over the tensioner. The tensioner's been torqued to exactly 26 newton meters, 24, whatever it was. I remember doing that. We is on the other pulley as well. Push on a little bit the whole way to roughly. Excuse me. Right. I'm confident that that's that one. I'm confident now that I need to pull that pin out. At this stage, it would be nice to ask if anyone knows anything else of any other problems before I go pulling this pin. But go on. She's out. Tension. Torque. Double check the torque. I set the torque wrench here for 24 newton meters. Set set. Maybe even 24 and a half. Yeah, confident enough with that. But that is fit it. Right, put that in. Back together. So, this is going to be a nightmare. Not the rest of it has been so far. Them people, did you get me a new discovery? Yeah. Cool. Where is it? When's it's it being delivered? Bag. Sorry? It's going to be some video in it. 
sit and watch him somewhere. You see him camera angle. In the top, but it's not on the bottom. I know for a fact it's not. Oh my god! I don't know what I've got the light for. It's not on no, not on that side. It's probably an easier way to do it that way. Damn it, my luck is a problem. The problem is, it's a friend of mine. Let me see. Oh, hey, hey. He's only wanting the cheap dick. Yeah, he's in. Right. Reverse build. Oh, dear dog. Right, so. Mm -hmm. Now we have to watch this video back to see how this comes back together. That needs to go in there. That's for sure. And then that bolt needs to go in. the whole way off it's so not and then that plastic thing just pulls out of it not like a round hole and it's a recess where it slides on underneath the nut and then you tighten the nut down onto it that's what I'm just doing back up now and that's just what holds that in position it's also got the uh, two like plastic clips attached to it that attach onto the back of the fuel there's a, a fuel rail on the back of it I'm guessing that's where the fuel regulator is pressure regulator uh, yeah you can see the fuel regulator and the fuel right come on catch the key to this whole job is obviously making sure you get no bolts left over that's the key to most of my jobs. There we go, it's done the touch now. Let's take it off the 
to take a step back to make sure we're still going in the right direction. It's going to be a long video of this, isn't it? been rubbing on or whether someone someone's obviously been in here before because that wasn't me that done that what goes on there like so and then goes up on there order and I know I'm going to put something on that I've got to take back off again that's just inevitable that is with me I get that on now all right probably be in it the pipe can go on last the water pipe because that really so that water pipe that metal pipe on the top that really should have happened I was just being naive that should have happened at the start of the job I'd just being naive about breaking out the water jacket, that was all, because I just put new coolant in it to do the front timing belt. And that goes down there like so. Yep. to start it up. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> this is where you realise all your work. Now oh, have confidence Stephen in yourself. easy on them but Someone's been in there before, look, that's all been broke up. Whatever they've been doing. I'll try and make sure there's none of the wires sitting on the top of the these plastic bits here. They're gonna get jammed. One, two, three, one, two, three, so center one. See this one back together again easier than what it really is now. This is needing to pull this way, so
Ah, the pipe's quite going first, on it? Yeah, I know. Everyone tells me that now. See? I told you I'd be taking something back off again. It's always a way of it. So, and I would like to leave a comment underneath. Tell me where you think that water leak in there might be coming from. That would be much appreciate it. I'll be impressed if this starts. major one let me show you so on the process of doing the good thing of marking up my ECU yeah I've marked the fucking ECU to the ECU I've not actually marked the bloody plugs like a tit so I am gonna to have to look back in the video now to see where these go which ain't a problem yeah don't do what I done that's uh Schoolboy here for that. Ain't a problem though. No. We'll get around it. like that, they slide into those holders. Right, now it's time for this plastic piece to be back on. Nothing else in there, is it? Bracket up there.